H&N investigates a rather disgusting internal probe within Honolulu's police department. And as our Allison Blair reports, this one reeks of insubordination, literally. HPD confirms its professional standards office launched an internal probe after someone placed envelopes full of feces on the desks of a Honolulu police commander and a Honolulu police supervisor earlier this month. The incident happened the week of February 5th. That's when law enforcement sources say Honolulu Police Major Hunter Alu and Captain Denise Nakabayashi both discovered green interdepartmental envelopes on their desks full of excrement. Both the major and captain are assigned to District 3 and work out of the Pearl City substation. HPD leadership didn't respond to H&N Investigate's request for an interview, but told us in an email the department's professional standards office has been assigned to look into the incident. Meanwhile, news of the probe has left many in disbelief. My reaction to this news is not only disappointed, but extremely concerned. This is behavior we wouldn't even accept from school age children. Cameron Hurt is the program manager at Common Cause Hawaii. We have got to evaluate what this action means. What does that say about our, our people management skills within HPD? What does it say about employee morale? Where is morale at HPD? Where are the standards of conduct at HPD? We have far passed the line of a harmless, practical joke. Under state law, the offender could face harassment charges, a petty misdemeanor. In a statement, Chief Logan said the act that was committed was immature and unprofessional and impacted our sworn and civilian employees. It's a clear violation of the HPD's standards of conduct and the appropriate action will be taken. If there is a morale issue, if there are certain personnel issues going on, we've got to include the union more. In a statement, the president of the State of Hawaii Organization of Police Officers said, we sincerely hope that such behavior did not come from a sworn officer, as these actions in no way represent the values or character of our more than 2,600 members across the state. It went on to say the incident provides the department with an opportunity to engage employees of all ranks, both sworn and non-sworn at this district, to better understand the workplace dynamics and to help everyone move on from this disgraceful incident. We encourage them to take the opportunity. We asked HPD where the investigation into all of this stands. We did not get a response. Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now.